Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to add a progress tracker on the Elementor website. Progress tracker is a feature of Elementor Pro plugin and you will need Elementor Pro installed on your WordPress website. Now, this is an example of simple dummy blog post. Here you can see that the blog post is too big and you want to show a progress tracker on this blog post so that people will know what is the length of the blog post what is the percentage of the blog post they have read so we are going to install a progress tracker on the blog post so this is the blog post on which we are going to add the progress tracker so here i am logged into the dashboard already so i can see edit with elementor it can be blog post or it can be normal page so here you can see the blog post that we are going to edit with elementor now here you can search for progress progress bar is different we are going to add progress tracker so i'm going to add it just below this you can add it anywhere on the page so i'm going to add it just above the content this is the featured image that is added automatically to the blog post because of the template that i have created for this one so here you can see the settings of this progress tracker you will see two different options horizontal or circular if i change it to circular it will look like this so we will try both the layouts horizontal and circular so let's change it back to horizontal and the progress relative to entire page so i'm going to select entire page so that it will track the progress on the entire page till the bottom till the footer so if you have comments section on the blog post it will also track the comments it will also add the comment section in the progress you can also select post content so it will select only this section where you have the post content from this to the end of this post content it will not add the comment section or it will not add the footer section it will only take the post content section for the progress and this is selector if you have any id or classes you can add the id and classes and it will show the progress according to the classes so i'm going to select the entire section here now you can see the direction from the left from the left and this is from the right so i'm going to select from the left percentage you can show the percentage also here you will see the percentage 15 percent is done 23 percent done like that now where do you want to show the percentage to the right or to the left like this now let's go to style settings and i'm going to change the color the progress color to blue border type i'm going to add some border here let's add one pixel border and change the color to somewhat yellowish let's change it to two pixel border radius you can also add border radius i'm going to add 15 now if this is the tracker background this will be the background so i'm going to add a background color also a red color i'm going to add one pixel border with black color and let's add the border radius 15 pixel Okay, now let's go to content this is the content color let's change the text color to white so that it will be visible i'm going to change the size to 20. now let's go to advanced and let's see if we can add padding padding does not look good leave it as it is width this is the width the full width right now we are adding on the blog post and this is the full width of the post content so it will take this width only now position here you will see the position i'm going to select fixed it has gone to the top i'm going to select to the bottom so it will be at the bottom of the page now here you will see offset then mark it as zero there is no offset so we have the fixed position at the bottom and you can see that when i scroll down you will see the progress here and i'm at the footer and it shows 100 percent let me update it and let's see how does this look on the actual blog post 
view the page or the post and here at the bottom you will see the progress tracker if i scroll down you will see the percentage of the page that has been covered i'm at the footer and you will see that it's going to 100 percent right now let's try the other one that the circular one so select the progress tracker go to content and change the tracker type to circular you will see it here now let's change the duration of the tracker style settings tracker to the center or to the right here you will see the tracker now you can change the position of the tracker so i'm going to make it here So this is how it will look. Let's change the color also. Style, this is the size. You can change the size. Content color, change it to red. Okay, so this is how it will look. Now you will need to play with the settings of the position so that it will appear properly let's update it go back to the page refresh it so we have the progress tracker here if i scroll down you will see the progress moving we have selected the entire page that's why it shows 100 when i reach to the footer So you can play with the style settings and the layout settings of the progress tracker and you can adjust the position of the progress tracker on the page. So this is how you can use the progress tracker on the Elementor website. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.